Unless the United States can generate a lot more electricity than we're doing now. The biggest consumers of energy in the world right now are data centers. Where the power is going to come from because they are such huge gluttons for power. Overnight, Larry Ellison became the richest man in the world. It took just one day and he overtook Elon Musk by adding hundred billion dollars in assets in the world. Bloomberg is reporting that today Ellison's wealth hit nearly 400 billion dollars. That is more than Elon Musk. It's unprecedented in history. He's the co-founder of Oracle and Oracle stock just had its biggest single day gain since 1992, jumping over 44 percent at one point in the day. The company value jumped by over 240 billion dollars. Shares of Oracle soared 38 percent to around 334 dollars a share Wednesday morning. The reason? Artificial intelligence. But here's the twist. While one man just made more money in a single day than most countries produce in a year, the rest of us could be left paying the price in the form of blackouts, higher bills, and an energy system pushed to the breaking point. By the end of this video, you'll see why the United States may control the chips, but China controls a switch that turns them on. AI isn't just eating data, it's eating electricity. As countries race to set up data centers in the United States, Europe, Saudi Arabia, UAE, and India. We are all going to be affected massively. And who will reap the profits? Those AI companies and their shareholders. Not the average person who needs to pay the electricity bill for switching on their lights or their fans or their computers. The boom threatens to drive up power bills for residents and small businesses. Nationally, the average electricity rate for residents has risen more than 30% since 2020. One analysis showed electricity bills are on track to rise an average of 8% nationwide by 2030 and as much as 25% in places like Virginia because of data centers. The AI story isn't just about chips or software, although we spend a lot of our time talking about that, including myself. But it's also about energy, and the countries that will control electricity will control the future, just like OPEC controlled oil in the last century. This is a war between the United States and China, not on the chips this time, but on energy production. Because without the energy, there are no data centers. And without the data centers, there is no AI future. We are heading towards the first real energy arms race of the 21st century. The big problem is that we're all subsidizing the wealthiest corporations in the world in their pursuit of artificial intelligence. Americans' utility bills are rising while big tech's profits are going through the roof. Let's dive in deeper to understand why even if the United States wins that small battle by controlling the most advanced chips it sends to China, China still looks as if it will win the war. Oracle joins Nvidia, Microsoft and Google in that trillion dollar AI club. This week, Oracle announced it had received AI orders worth hundreds of billions of dollars, one from OpenAI for $300 billion. This Oracle contract alone will require 4.5 gigawatts of power capacity. Now, to understand how big these numbers are, think of it as roughly comparable by the electricity produced by more than two Hoover dams in the United States, or the amount consumed by about 4 million homes for the year. The electricity amount would be the, that amount that would be used, for example, by the whole of Singapore, or by the city of Shenzhen in China on a low demand day, or Bengaluru in India. Now that's one contract for one company. Now you can see where I'm going with this. It is serious electricity consumption, and we need to be very worried about it. Imagine your electricity bill is about to double so that Larry Elson's service can stay cool. And this is just that one contract. Wait till you see how much global demand is expected to explode in just a few years. Training large AI models burns terawatts of power. From this year to 2028, spending on chips, servers, and data center infrastructure is set to reach over $2.9 trillion. Now think of your own PC, which has its own internal fans to keep it cool so that it can perform properly. If your laptop or PC overheats, it slows down or shuts off. 
Now multiply that problem by millions of servers and you'll understand why this is a ticking bomb for the global grid system. Data centers house not only thousands of computer servers, which for example may have those famous Nvidia chips, but they also need lots of cooling equipment that is needed for them to stay cool to run efficiently. A medium-sized data center can easily produce the same heat as tens of thousands of homes. Data centers consume around 2% of global electricity today, and that's projected to hit 8% by 2030. In the United States, the current biggest concentration of data centers, over 300 of them, are in Virginia. It is in an area which is known as now the data center ally. It's the largest data center cluster in the world. One local electricity company in that area, Dominion Energy, predicts that by 2035, the industry in Virginia will require around 11,000 megawatts. It's nearly four times of what it needed in 2022 or that which is enough to power around 8.8 .8 million homes. Now, if you look at this chart, you can see how the dark purple bottom base of the chart reflects the huge increase in electricity demand coming from data centers, basically. And that's just one state. If Virginia can make or break America's AI future, what happens if its grids fail? Globally, data centers across the world consumed an estimated 460 terawatt hours in 2022. And this is expected to reach more than 1,000 terawatts next year, 2026 alone. It's equivalent to the consumption of the whole of Japan. Google disclosed that its electricity use grew by 20% in just one year due to AI. And Microsoft has said that its emissions grew by 30% since 2020 because of the AI data centers it's setting up. AI is becoming the biggest driver of electricity demand in decades. Just as cars fueled oil demand in the 20th century, data centers are fueling electricity demand in the 21st. Microsoft is now building data centers that consume more electricity than entire countries. Training ChatGPT4 is estimated to have used 1.3 gigawatts per hour of power enough to supply 120 US homes for a year. Analysts expect that ChatGPT will consume five to 10 times more energy. This is a big problem and you'll see why. It isn't just about electricity, that's why. There's another scarce resource that these centers are draining and most people don't even know it. Compounding the issue is that cooling the data centers doesn't just require electricity, it requires massive amounts of water to be consumed. So for example, a single Google data center in the Dallas, Oregon area used about 1.25 billion gallons of water in one year. Now what China is doing is it's building liquid cool data centers directly near rivers or in the northern provinces where water is in surplus. China is also spreading its data centers inland and tying them to new ultra high voltage transmission lines, which is building anyway. By comparison, the United States concentration in Virginia in the data center alley creates a vulnerability. It's a bottleneck in one state, which can become a national problem. So electricity demand is growing exponentially, but the problem is that the US grid system is old. It has an average plant age that's over 30 years old. The United States grid system is maxed out and renewable projects can take up to five to 10 years just to get connected. In 2023, the United States had around 2,000 gigawatts of clean energy projects, which were just stuck in a queue. It's more than its current total generation capacity. An AI-driven demand could require the United States to generate 50% more electricity by 2035. The United States hasn't built any transmission at scale since the 1970s, and the companies are reluctant to do so. Who will pay for it? Stop and think. If the America cannot even connect its clean energy projects, how can it possibly feed an AI boom that's gonna grow 10 times faster? To make matters worse, the push under the Biden administration towards renewable energy has been overturned by the Trump administration. He's rolled back the clean power plan. He's frozen offshore wind projects. One wind project was almost 80% complete and it was shut down. 
And of course, he's imposed tariffs on solar imports, since most of these are from China. President Biden had, under the Inflation Reduction Act, given over $370 billion in clean energy credits. To meet demand, the U.S. grid investment must double by 2030. By comparison, while Trump is still on a drill baby drill mantra, China's building electricity capacity at wartime speed. In 2023 alone, China installed 220 gigawatts of solar power, more than the United States has in its entire history. China controls 80% of the world's solar supply chain, from the polysilicon to the panels. Now look at the table. China already operates nearly 450 gigawatts of solar capacity. It's renewable, it's cheap energy. It's almost four times the United States. But what's more important is what's coming. If you put together the construction, pre-construction, and the announced new projects, China has over 670 gigawatts in the pipeline. That's nearly six times what the US has in its pipeline. Put simply, China isn't just ahead, it's lapping America in raw energy build-out. China builds one new coal plant every week, as well as 24 nuclear reactors are currently under construction. It's the world's largest program. The US has a crisis while AI demand is exponential. And that US grid growth, it's linear, if that at all. So who's going to pay for the electricity that's needed by the data centers? By contrast, China's expansion is exponential. And the result is that the United States risks rolling blackouts, rising electricity prices, and losing the AI arms race. Larry Ellison may have gotten richer overnight, but the real winner of the AI gold rush won't be Oracle. It won't be Nvidia. And just like oil-shaped geopolitics for a century, electricity will shape the next. The real winner is going to be that country which controls the electricity to power AI. And right now, that country is China. Do share with me your thoughts on whether you think AI will push your electricity bill higher. I do read each one of those comments. Thank you for joining me. I'm Najma Minhas with GBS Deep Dive. Have a great day.